Hello everyone. Welcome to the teaching show. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. So uh, in this video, we are going to study material balance which involves bypass stream. I'm Dr. Poonam Nigam and let's get started. So what is a bypass? Let's say I have just visited Golden Temple and now I am going to visit Taj Mahal. So I have to travel from Amritsar to Agra. But before that, in between, I have to cross Delhi. And anyone who lives in Delhi or who has ever visited Delhi will relate to this image, which I am just going to show you. So if I cross Delhi during the regular peak uh, traffic hours, okay delhi looks something like this so this is the regular route if i want to cross delhi through the regular route through the city then my situation will be very uh, depressing okay now instead of crossing the delhi through the main roads what i can do is that i can take a bypass route so this is a newly constructed bypass to delhi okay if i follow this i will be able to circumvent delhi without actually crossing through the city okay so this is the bypass i am avoiding the actual um, city and still i am crossing the city okay so i am bypassing it then i will be very happy right so uh, this is what bypass means to you in a day to day basis but what happens when i am talking about bypass in a processing unit let's say uh, first let's see what is the regular route okay so regular route for any incoming feed is that feed goes to a process unit here it gets processed and then the product comes out so this is the regular route now sometimes i just don't want the feed the entire feed to be processed within the process unit and what i do is that a small portion of the feed i just bypass it okay so it is not following the regular route not the entire amount of feed is getting processed in the unit and some of it is just bypassed okay and then later on whatever the product which is coming from this process unit it gets mixed with this bypass stream and then i get a combined product which is a final product okay why am i doing this so there are two main reasons uh, one of them is that I have a product specification and in order to attain that product specification, I have to do this. Okay. And second um, reason might be that this, cap uh, this process unit, it was designed for certain capacity. But right now I don't have a control on how much the feed is coming. Usually this is the case when you are uh, seeing an affluent treatment plant where, or a sewage treatment plant where you do not have control on how much sewage per day is coming to this processing unit. In that case, you can allow only the maximum amount which it can handle and the remaining you will have to bypass it. Okay, so you can imagine uh, this is the uh, stream which is coming to the affluent treatment plant here it is getting processed but the capacity more than what the capacity was it was just bypassed and then this is the uh, treated uh, uh, stream and this is my portion of the affluent stream I just mix it and dump it in the environment well you should not have done that but okay there is no other option so that's what we had done okay so limitation of process unit capacity that is the second reason so uh, in this video i am going to take two two problems uh, both of them are unsolved from felder and uh, by going through that problem you will also get a clear idea why we are using a bypass so first problem it deals with the preparation of concentrated orange juice now the fresh orange juice it contains 12-8% of solids and the remaining is water. So um, we want to prepare a concentrated juice which contains 40-8% solids. But initially what was being done was that this was sent to a, just an evaporator in which the required amount of water was evaporated. But was, what was happening was that most of the volatiles were also leaving with the water and that the final taste of the orange juice was not good okay so to overcome this problem it was thought that let's mix a fraction of the fresh juice with the evaporated and concentrated juice so as to balance its taste 
okay so in order to do that what was done uh, in evaporator the juice was concentrated to a uh, weight fraction of 58 weight percent of solids okay and then it was mixed with the fresh orange juice so that your final product now contains 42 weight percent solids so now the question is asked find out the amount of product which is produced per 100 kg of fresh juice fed to the process and the fraction of the feed that bypasses the evaporator okay so here i am taking basis as 100 kg of fresh juice feed and then i have made my fully labeled flowchart marking what i know and what i don't know okay so keep in mind what we are doing now we are bypassing us stream of fresh juice so as to attain certain product specification and what is the product specification certain taste level of your orange juice concentrated juice okay it should not taste flat so it should still have some taste that's why we are mixing a portion of the fresh juice fine now um, we will handle this problem like we had done with the recycle problems okay so uh, what is the third step we will go and find out a degree of freedom at various subsystems and for the overall system so let's do that okay so my degree of freedom at this point is two unknowns and there is one equation remember our rule of thumb which we discussed in the last video okay uh, so in that case what i said was because you see bo both the components they are appearing in the same ratio okay in all the three streams so that's why you have only one independent balance equation okay you can write independent balances for these two and check it out that both of them just produce to the same equation okay and that is m1 is equal to m2 plus m6 so that is the only equation which which we get so degree of freedom is one at this splitting point let's now go and check our degree of freedom at evaporator how many unknowns i have one two and three so there are three unknowns and two independent balance equations so my degree of freedom is one let's check at this mixing point my degree of freedom will be three unknowns and two balance equations so degree of freedom is one let's check for the overall system i have two unknowns m5 and m3 and I have two balance equations, so degree of freedom is zero. So often you will see that in recycle and bypass problems, they are so formulated that degree of freedom is zero on the O. Excuse me, on the overall system. Okay, so that will be the best place to start. So instead of going through all this, you can just directly go to the overall system and find out its degree of freedom. Okay, now. Uh, let's see so i'm taking overall balance and then from that what do i get it's direct i get m5 and m3 okay so solid balance is giving me m5 and total balance is giving me m3 i have updated my flowchart again now again i will do degree of freedom analysis uh, on the remaining points okay let's see how much it is so at the mix uh, at the splitting point it is still one at the evaporator degree of freedom has reduced to zero and at the mixing point it has reduced to zero so i can do calculations either at the evaporator or the mixing point okay so let's start uh, with uh, calculations on the mixing point so i take total balance and then i take solid balance okay i get two equations in m4 and m6 i get two equations in m4 and m6 okay then i can solve these two equations and get their values which i get as m4 is 18.6 kg and m6 that is the recycle stream it is 10 kgs now um, next i can either solve one evaporator and get what is m2 okay or what i can do is i can just simply go to this splitting point since i now know m6 so my number of unknowns has reduced to one so i can just use simply material balance on this uh, splitting point and quickly find out what is m2 so if m6 is 10 m1 is 100 m2 comes out to be 90 kgs okay so balance on splitting point gives me the feed to the evaporator which is 90 kgs 
okay so this is my balanced flow chart uh, 100 kg of fresh juice coming in 90 kg goes to the evaporator 10 kg is bypassed after evaporation uh, i'm left with 18.6 kg of orange juice this is concentrated juice which i am mixing with 10 kgs of fresh juice so i get 28.6 kgs of my final product that was what um, was asked in the question find out the amount of product uh, for 100 kg of fresh juice so you get 28.6 kg of concentrate and the fraction of the feed that bypasses the evaporator that is equal to 10 by 100 that is 0.1 okay now let's see another problem this is on chromium recovery unit so a stream containing 5.15 weight percent of chromium is contained in the wastewater from a metal finishing plant so wastewater is coming from a metal finishing plant the wastewater stream is then fed to a treatment unit so you can treat it as a effluent treatment plant okay so this treatment unit it removes 95 percent of chromium in the feed and recycles it to the plant the residual liquid from whatever from the treatment unit it is sent to a waste lagoon now it is given that the treatment unit has a maximum capacity of 4500 kg of wastewater per hour if you have um, flow rate which is higher than this then what is done the remaining is bypassed and mixed with the residual liquid which is coming out of the uh, treatment unit and then the combined fee stream is sent to the lagoon okay so now it has been asked if the wastewater which is coming from the finishing plant is at a rate of 6000 kg per hour calculate the flow rate of liquid to the waste lagoon and the mass fraction of chromium in this liquid this is again an unsolved problem of felder problem 4.33 okay so basis has been given that is 600,000 kg per hour of wastewater from plant i have again made a flow chart fully label it whatever the unknowns i have marked just for the simplicity of calculation i have marked the flow rates of chromium and water in uh, the stream which is coming out of this treatment unit and also in this combined unit okay so let us check now what is the degree of freedom at this treatment unit uh, okay, I have M3, M4C and M4W that is the mass flow rate of chromium and mass flow rate of water in the stream which is coming out of the treatment unit. So two unknowns over here and this is one more unknown. Okay, I have two independent balance equations and if you go and see the problem statement again, it says that 95, uh, okay, this unit it removes 95% of chromium in the feed. Okay, so M3 will be 95% of what is coming into this treatment unit. So I have one problem specification. So in all I have three equations and three unknowns. So degree of freedom is zero let's see on the mixing point i have four unknowns and i have only two material balance equations so degree of freedom is two uh, let's see on the overall uh, system i have degree of freedom which is equal to one because i have three unknowns m3 m5c and m5w and only two equations i cannot use product um, problem specification in this because it applies to this flow rate it doesn't apply to the this feed rate okay so i cannot use the process specification okay so let's start by solving from the treatment unit so if i take a balance on treatment unit first of all i will use process specification it will directly give me the value of m3 then water balance will give me the value of the uh, flow rate of water coming out of the treatment unit and the total balance will give me how much chromium is coming out of the treatment unit then um, if i go back and check that i know these two so degree of freedom has reduced to zero on this um, mixing point so i'm going to solve this mixing point again i will take water balance or and chromium balance okay and both of them will give me the value of the mass flow rates of water and chromium um, which are going to the lagoon okay so the final flow rate or the final um, stream which is going to the lagoon it is just simply the addition of the mass flow rate of chromium plus mass flow rate of water which is 5779.84 kg per hour and a mole fraction is calculated from that so thanks for watching this video and please like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you so much thanks a lot